please get ready for a dictation of exercise number 24 from the legal material 5 seconds start it is interesting to note that such claim was accepted by the assessing officer as a matter of fact but he had expressed the opinion that the ssc was likely to generate some revenue in the subsequent years due to market potentiality of the softwares developed by it and hence it has the nature and character of capital expenditure having enduring benefit the factual backdrop of the cases in which the amount has been treated to be capital expenditure is different in the case of jonas woodhead the foreign firm had not only furnished the information and the technical know how but rendered valuable services in setting up of the factory itself and even after the expiry of the agreement there was no embargo on the ssc to continue to manufacture the products in question and on that basis a percentage was fixed the present case is not one where one can say that there is exclusive right to use the patent or trademark of any foreign company or there is payment of royalty on the gross turnover the said agreement provided for the supply of technical know how that the ina had already developed being in the same line of business for a lump sum consideration of rupees 3 lakhs and subject to indian tax sold the same to the ssc clause 7 of the agreement postulated that the lump sum amount was to be paid in installments the income tax officer treated the said expense as capital expenditure eventually the tribunal allowed the claim of the ssc and treated the expenditure as revenue expenditure the division bench referred to the decision in jonas woodhead and came to hold that when the ssc was allowed to use the technical know how even after the expiry of the period of the agreement there is no doubt that the ssc had acquired the benefit of enduring nature in our considered considered opinion the facts in the said decision are quite different from those in the case at hand and hence distinguishable in the present case from the order passed by the cit it is noticeable that the said authority has taken note of the nature of business of the ssc and also appreciated the stand that the ssc was engaged in the business of development of software and marketing thereof and hence there was no logic in the finding of the assessing officer that the software softwares may not have long life in the following years but some value should be assigned to them at the end of the year 
that part that apart the first appellate authority has not accepted the reasoning ascribed by the assessing officer that the ssc may not be able to develop the software to its final stage and the expenditure incurred during the year may result in no income the cit has also recorded that the assessing officer has not analyzed the material brought on record and added the amount purely on the basis of guess work which is impermissible the tribunal as is evident has held that the expenses were routine in nature and the addition of 25% could not have been disallowed on the ground that the ssc was likely to generate some revenue in the subsequent years due to the market potentiality of the softwares developed by it it is worth noting that the tribunal has opened that the very nature of the expenditure was revenue and even if there is any advantage it would be in the revenue field and not in the capital field thus the conclusion arrived at by the tribunal cannot be said to be flawed in as much as there is no material on record that the expenditure was capital expenditure stop